Serikali inafanya misako kushika watu wengi sana. Mbona pale watu washika? Sisi kama community tumesema no. Na no na no. Sasa wewe ukiniuliza ni biashara gani mimi nakwambia pale pana biashara haramu. Wewe utaelewa biashara haramu ni ile ambayo jamii haitaki na ambayo uh, biashara ile inamfanya mlikoni azidi kurejea chini na maasi yatazidi katika mikono. Ndio biashara haramu. Mtuzahe barakatu. Mimi ni Asperance uh, Chimbwani Ward. Kwa jina naitwa Masha Mwaka, mashallah. I'm so touched na yale mambo ambayo yako yanatendeka, mambo ambayo yanavunja moyo kwa sababu sisi ni wazazi na wale ni watoto ambao tunawatarajia kesho waji wao viongozi na wasukume jamii. Lakini yale yanayotendeka wallahi tunayalani vikali na tunataka serikali ingilie kati hiyo koe watoto wetu. Wale ni viongozi wa kesho, ni walimu wa kesho, ni madaktari wa kesho na ni washauri wa kesho. Kwa hivyo tunaomba kwa unyenyekevu tunataka haki ya mtoto wa kitimwani tunataka haki ya mtoto wa likoni na tunataka usawa hata jini pia inakataa tunataka mtoto awe na tarbia ile ambayo sisi wenyewe wa Kiafrika na kidini inataka si mambo ambayo yanaweza kuja kuleta watoto wetu kuharibiwa na kuwa ni watu ambao hawana maana katika jamii mimi naongea hivi kama mwalimu naongea hivi kama mama dada na advisor wa hawa watoto wetu tunaowapenda madaktari wa kesho shukrani Ya semekana wana kulungana na mazungumzo mbepe ya metokea kule ni kwamba kulikuwa na noti samoli patiwa ya paya kukungwa Hapa, eviction na eviction So basically, hii speculation, I was talking about business rivalry There was a guy called Rama, Rama Bindo, na David, uyo akon orphanage They approached me in the end, kwa kukungwa partnership kwa pale debris, kwa naito debris Kuma, it was BD Bad, they invited me to Likoni I came and invested a lot of money, over 5 to 4 million there. The next thing, wakanichezea chafu. Menele wa Corona came, right now I'm in court with these guys. So, wakaraza sasa, these guys, Mr. Rama especially, anakuwa embarrassed to see me in Likoni. Ashema mbe paka my wife, atakikisha menikuwa Likoni, nikizidi noma atanipigia risasi. Me, my wife is like, she was so scared, nikamambia, haiwezi kani, mimi I'll fight back. Menele wa? Wacha, 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 wacha. No, it's okay, it's okay. Wacha, wacha, wacha. So basically, Rasema, like, sasa Mzerama, haka join na paya, na huyu Ahmed Salama. Mbelewa? Sasa, ome, kuna business rivalism, na kuna huyu Ahmed Salama, na ichukua political mileage. Mbelewa? Ome join these people, wanasema kwa mbati, sasa, of course, they are very close people. Mbelewa? Ahmed Salama, na Mama Sarai, na huyu Ahmed Salama na mze Ramabindo the whole one thing right now that's how they want to make sure any because they are embarrassed right now my business is booming and that place mahali wali nifon ni mewachia right now me I'm doing my business they're still coming to interfere with me that's how what they are trying to do they want to end up on the sea some few you know Likoni you can you can memorize people very easy kuna watu kuna mama hawajui mtu wa viazi mama mboga kiambia shika shini miambili tuende unaenda wanakuenda manake wanatafuta risk so wakabibana watu siwa tushirini wakaenda pale kwa DC wakasema bana kuna hii complaint complaint without any evidence DC was involved in into that action akaambia bana kuna complainant siju vidibadu nini nini wakachunguza there was nothing they found umenu wakawana hii ni business rivalism ndo wakailewa hata mama mishi moko, she saw that, waka mambia paka DC. DC hii, ni mzerama, anatumia his political influence. Mana kaya na juwana na makwere mzerama. So, anatumia his political influence yaki, ya kupresha presha. Hili, hee, anakuwa embarrassed. Why did he battle? Hame operate, na his beating, like in Tastama Wise. Hapa kuna ya, kuliko all the places around. So, in short, you've not been served with an eviction letter? Mimi sija pao eviction letter. Good. Yeah. Na kuna kwa hivyo masuala ya kufungwa na hizo Wewe hujapata. Hujapata yeye. Unao kama wewe hiyo bara hiyo bara ya ya shara chapo. Na kuelezea wewe. We have very good intelligence officers. Wewe mwacha hata officers. Kuna hawa local tuje disciplinaries. Ambao kama wewe ni one of them of youth. Ni watu hawezi kubali wao wanakuja hapa. They are partners with me. 
because they are very feeling so like uh, energetic kuona youth mwenzake eh amekuja hapo ana ana create employment ana 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 motivate my youth wengine wawe pia wawe business minded unaelewa instead of kukaa wa kule mogukaa wa losing hope waiting for their leader to change their life they see their own brother their own fellow youth eh ana fight anaangalia strategy they work hand in hand with me sengine pia they volunteering sometimes wanaona vipi vipi wata wata work in hand vipi vipi bado anaendelea they getting that secret the secret is reputation eh? and this is why I'm, I'm, I'm reacting to this mimi eh? allegation hizi zinakuja but when i seen rmcs putting straight up anasema hivi na hivi without any evidence hiyo for me i fight back that's why i'm in the media right now good so wewe una feel aje na ni message gani unatoka boss there's briefing it for Any what action do you want the government take the government to take against those that are spoiling your name? Yeah, mimi ningetaka serikali mimi niko na kesi karibu 3 4 pale kwa kwa CID bado hazija nime niko na evidence watu wamenichapulia kwa social media but hakuna uh, any action has been done. So mimi ningetaka serikali right now eh? kufatilizie hiyo like uh, these people ambao ni shapeleka na huyo Ahmed Salama pia nitampeleka endelewa so all these people is calling a action cause hiyo serikali iangalie this is a youth this is a guy who's trying to struggle and do business in covid 19 hakuna biashara kila mahali people are struggling endelewa and i try to keep up livelihood of many families around here endelewa mtu anakuja out of political mileage na nimeambiwa yeye yeah, there's nothing is doing for his community So basically nataka serikali inisaidie mimi I, hii law hii kitengo cha law like defamation of character ni wasuo hao jamaa because mimi nikiwa demoted nikiwa demoralized kuna my youth that I inspired with me how do you think wataona ah hii Kenya yetu mwanangu afadhali uibe ama leo kwa bahari mpanuka leo lakini kwa makosa kwa bahari mpanuka